Well, Sunday we're anticipating the feast of St. Therese, our patron, which is celebrated universally on the 1st of October, but we've been doing it on the Sunday closest to the feast, which we will be celebrating this weekend at every Mass. In the past, after the 10 o'clock Mass, we've had a, a banquet provided by the Knights and the, the women of St. Therese. We can't meet, as well you know. So the idea is that we support CCSC, Christian Community Service Centre, which provides food for those who hunger. So, for the next two Sundays, bring any non-perishable food to the church, bring it to the sanctuary, make it your gift as you come into the church. There will be a pickup on the evening of Wednesday the 7th of October between 4.30 and 6.30 there will be a pick up and people to relieve you of your generous gift. So we're celebrating by celebrating with those in need. Hi everyone, and in honor of Priesthood Sunday, your questions get answered by our priest. Father Phil, where were you born? Where did you grow up? I was born in the middle of England, uh, a tiny market town called Wellington. It's very rural, it's very beautiful, very historical. What did you want to be when you grew up? Did you always want to be a priest? No, I used to, I used to want to be a vagabond. I used to sort of, like, before I heard of itinerant preachers, those just go walking, but I've always loved walking and I, there was a book when I was a child. I can't remember the title, but it was about a vagabond. I kind of fancied myself as a vagabond. Yeah. What is one food that Americans think is gross, but people from Great Britain love? Uh, steak and kidney pie doesn't excite people too much. Doesn't excite me. It's actually really nice. When I was a kid, it used to come, we used to have it in a tin, and you put it in, take the lid off, put it in the oven, and it had all this flaky pastry. It's my favorite dish as a kid, but my palate's uh, educated a little since then. So have you had it again? Didn't like it? I haven't had it for years. Hmm. I wonder whether there are any kind of practitioners of the art of steak and kidney pie around. <laughs> favorite way to spend a day off? Um, I like to walk. I like to have a dinner with friends, one or two friends just sitting around the table. That always gives me great pleasure. What do you love most about St. Teresa? Well, I love that I've been here for 15 years and for a vagabond that's a very long time. It's not very vagabondish. It isn't. Maybe they'll kick me out of the club. But it's, I'm really happy that I've been here for 15 years and uh, together it's grown. Um, not just our buildings, but our numbers, um, and I hope our holiness. I hope so too. What's on your bucket list? Oh, Australia. I, uh, I spent a few days in Rome with a group from Australia, and I worked with two, two Australian women in London, and Australians work hard, they play hard, they love vacations. Um, so, Sydney, the Opera House. Yes, it's a, it's a lovely world down under, I haven't been. You know, that, that lends itself to a joke, just like, you want to go down under before you go down under. Oh, that's okay, a good right. job. Let's hope I get the order right. Yes, I mean, you want to go to down under before you go down under. Mm -hmm. Perfectly clear. All right, well, thank you, everyone. Thank you, Father Phil, for your time. And we're calling this a wrap on our first ever St. Teresa Ask Father Phil. Thank you. Please like, subscribe, or comment below.